Hello everybody, it's Tony again at Fisher Buggies in Tampa, Florida. Um, we've had a couple phone calls here lately on how to change the belt. So on our next little helpful video, this is going to try to shed some light on that for you. For this, we'll need a couple special tools. A uh, flat blade screwdriver and a 21 millimeter wrench. And if you'll notice on the back side of the pulley, there's notches cut out and you can stick your screwdriver in the notch and catch the face plate of the alternator which will act as a wedge and you put your wrench on a nut and start to try to loosen the nut. It'll grab it and let it come off. It's a two-piece pulley. You'll have a nut, a big spacer, and some shims. Hold on to the shims because we're going to reuse them. There'll be some on the inside and on the outside. The shims that you saw in the pulley are there for spacing purposes. Um, you don't want the pulley, when you squeeze it together, just to be squeezing on the belt. You want these shims in there to regulate how tight it gets against the belt as to how much force it's going to have from the outside. So I'm going to start with a small handful here. We usually run 8 to 10. We've got six of them in the middle. Put my belt back on here. Squeeze a little bit to give you some room up top here when you put the pulley back on. The pulley face. Got that on. Put a couple shims on the outside here. Again, we're just guessing. Not if they're adjusted, we don't know. Got my spacer. Put the nut back on there. I'm going to take up some of the slack out of it, so I'm going to put a couple turns on it just to tighten it up. And you'll see that the, the belt is way down in the pulley there. Get it a little bit there. And now the belts come up to the top of the pulley. I still have some deflection. Let me tighten it up here now. I'll be using the notch again on the back side with my screwdriver. check our deflection. That's pretty good. I mean, I'm about, about half an inch to an inch of deflection on both sides. Uh, any tighter than that and you'll take out your alternator or generator sooner because you'll be putting a lot of pressure on the bearing. You don't want it too loose to where it squeals and it's flapping when it runs and you don't want it too tight to where you can hear it whining because if there's no deflection you're just cranking down on the alternator which is going to take out the front bearing and then you'll be in trouble. You saw the shims in there. The shims act as, a, like I said, a, a shim for tightening. Um, I got lucky with my guess. It's not too tight, not too loose. If it were to be too tight, I would take some of the shims from the outside and put them in between the pulleys in the middle. That would, that would again, the, the pulley would squeeze together, not squeeze on the belt as much, which would loosen the belt up. And vice versa, if it was just too, too, way too sloppy, I would take them out of the outside and put them on the inside to, to tighten up on the belt and not just on the pulley itself. Hope this video helps. Um, if not, please give us a call. Uh, make comments. Ask us any more questions. If you need more details, we're always here to help. Monday through Friday, 9 to 5.30. Saturday, we're here until 3, from 9 to 3 on Saturdays. Also, check out our website, uh, www.fisherbuggies.com. You can email us through there. You can actually shop on there. Um, we have a clearance section that we're, changing, we're updating every day, adding new stuff just for blowouts. So check us out. Again, thanks for watching.